guys what's up welcome back to the channel if you're new it's Jane and you're welcome to my space please make sure to subscribe to me if you're not subscribed thumbs up this video and leave a comment at the end of it and with that being said let's get into it so we have Ferdinand in the building again Ferdinand, you should be a celebrity by this time on this channel. Definitely. Why are you feeling yourself? Very soon. <laughs> so like I said, Ferdinand is my friend, my brother, you know, and a really good company. <laughs> I'll be how do I say Good companion. No, don't don't say that. Come on. <laughs> don't, don't don't mislead people. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, so guys, Ferdinand is going to share with us today his story everything about medical school if you guys don't know this is his final year Fernand is let me just say he's literally done with med school because he's just at the dream of it um yeah i'm so proud of you Fernand. first of all <laughs> let me just start with that because this guy is the strongest person mm -mm. now nah. with everything that i know about him he's really really strong so today i'm going to ask Fernand some questions about medical school so far, his experience and how he's gone through it. Person, why did you come to the Philippines? Um, why I came to Philippines is because uh, uh, environment is not that conducive to study medicine in Nigeria to start with, unless if you have money. Sure. Okay? So if you have money, I think the environment is a little bit conducive to be able to capture what they, they may be asking you for. Financial. So, because of that, I came to Philippines. Though, even though school um, medical school is less expensive in Nigeria, it's more expensive here. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that once you're able to pay that basic money, then the other thing is to work. There's no extra extra and, money and coming like out yeah. here and there. But Nigeria, then you pay you pay very minimal uh, amount of tuition fee. But what you pay. What you pay to the lecturers to every step you are paying money. So at the end of the day, you find out that you are spending more, and you don't even have the security mm -hmm. that you might be. They may kick you out the following day, just like that. Did so, you study and like? Did you actually do uni in Nigeria? Sure, I did. I was in Nigerian medical school for like four years. Mm -hmm. Four years, yeah. Because okay. of, uh, oh, can you imagine? Four years here in Philippines, you study medicine for four years. But in Nigeria, it's normally six years because it's MB, um, MBBS. MBBS there. Uh -huh. So you have to stay for three, six years because it's your first, it's first degree there. But, <coughs> but you end up at the end of the day, you end up spending ten years. Some I I know of. It's ten years. I, of yeah, strike. I know of, not just because of strike. They will just bring up nonsense thing. I know. Of, some of my friends that started medicine in 2010, they are still there now. Yes. What are they doing? They haven't graduated. Just one thing to one thing, they will say you do this one, just like that. Mm. So if you struggle, like using my the school where I went to in Nigeria, I was to university as an example. As at then, I don't know what they are doing now. They may hold you preclinic, but that's why people do everything to skate through that preclinic and mm. enter clinic. So when you go to a clinic, they won't ask you to leave, but they'll keep you there as many years as they want. Yeah. So that's just the... That's just the well, I know that when you came to Philippines, it wasn't as rosy. I mean, I'm your sister. <laughs> I know that it wasn't as rosy as some students get it over here. How have you been able to scale through Fed for real? Uh, <laughs> for real? How? Uh, what I know is that, what I know is that, as well, when, once you determine to do something, you definitely do it, unless you don't have the determination. Yeah, a lot of my friends ask me how. Like sometimes I tell people that my father is a Pamuan Tapa. Some people hasn't believed me that my father is a Pamuan Tapa. I'm going to make a video one day. <laughs> you get? Yes, just to prove to people. When I tell people that my dad is a Pamuan Tapa, and in our place, so the Pamuan Tapas are considered as the least, the least animal. True. Yeah. So, but then my friends are one type. I am here. So when I tell people, they don't agree. 
So, but the major thing that is pushing me through is my determination. I determine to do You're it. Very yeah. So that is why that is why what people say about me don't bother me. Um, I make a lot of friends, but one thing I know in Philippines since I came after some weeks or so I came here. But then then I came new. I, I, I was still having small money left with my flight there. I was using to eat and all that. So but with time I found out that in Philippines just be good to, to their to their women. No <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just telling you, I'm just telling yeah. you. So just be good. Once you are a good person, once you they know that you are working hard, they will at least help you with small things like that. As once in a while, once in a while, they will just give you a tip, and you now nah, you know that you don't have money. So what do you do? The small one you get, you you money. You, you man, like for example, when I came to Philippines, you know, I spent one thousand in one month, one thousand pesos in one month. In one month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the day I was telling one girl that what I spent one thousand in one month. She was like, ah, that means she's wasting money. I said, ah, she said that she spent ten thousand. In a month, I said, "Well, I spent one thousand. That one thousand I'm talking about is my feeding, not rent or other things, but my feeding alone. So I spent only one k. What I do, I found out that is a market, that is a public market. Because when I when I came new, everything I do, I buy in the mall mm. and all that. So when I found out that is a public market here, what I do, once I get that one k, I'll go there buy rice." buy everything I need you get on to that sometimes I will use 800 still have some change for my mm. buy pen and all that so what I do I drop I, I never buy anything including water okay so initially I don't even drink uh, I drink tap I used to drink tap you used to drink tap for yes, tap I, I, I heard I would tell that I drank tap for one year yes or even more than one year. What I do is I put it in the ref. It will get <laughs> to be cold. Yeah, to be cold. Yeah, I drink. I will drink it. I, will, I did it one year because I don't want to spend all, uh, extra money. You get. So the only thing I spend money on is my pen and print out. That is a, something I need to print yeah, out. Yeah, hand out. Mm, yeah. So these are the things I spend my money on. The other because I have customized to make sure that. This one thousand take me through this month. First of all, I've already gone to the market. I've already bought food, mm. cooked the food. I know then, like if it's not carbon, you're not buying. If it's not, who, what, what am I going to do in the month? I know. Yeah. So once I buy those things, cook it, put in the fridge. Every morning I eat before going to school. When and I was living close to school, so even in that afternoon I can come back, prepare my food, and eat. I never buy food outside unless someone is taking me out. Yeah. So sometimes, one 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 girl like that. I but you used to buy me food sometimes in school. That was not when I came. To <laughs> you were seeing money. That was that. Was, and yeah. So, but when things became so dry, the truth remains that when that thing happened, because there's one particular girl like like that. Then she was my classmate, so I helped her in times of study and all that. So. In that afternoon, she had to buy food for both of us. So I stopped eating my food in that afternoon. So this girl now, our class was MWF. Mm -hmm. So she literally gives me food MWF because we wow. eat in yeah we eat in the afternoon. Then in the night she'll come and pick me in the school. We go and eat. So oh, I remember point, her. Yeah, yeah. So at the point, what I told her is, can you just stop giving me buying this food? Just give me the money. So she start giving me the money instead of buying the food. So. When she give, I say. When she give, I say. For my other expenses, you get. So that is how I did until I scaled through that particular time until I start knowing more people, joining them in what they do, and all that. Until until I think I met Elizabeth. You get. Elizabeth was was of of so important. Like she really helped me. You get. Yeah. So this it's me. Yeah. Women that are helping yeah. you like this. No, so. Yeah, that's true. That, in fact, Elizabeth was the first girl, the first black girl that really, in fact, they, not just black girl, black person. You get that really, really tried. You get so, and I appreciate that for that. So that has been the the story. Not that they have ever, the people have ever helped me to pay my school fees 
or do my visa. No, that's not it. Because my my people help me with, with that. Though it well, doesn't get you one thing. Yeah. So yeah. like I literally get money from home once in a year. So what I do once I have the money from home, what I do first to go to the, the finance department ask them how much can I pay to be able to continue. So once they ask me, this is the amount, I will work towards, if the money I get from home is not up to that, I'll find a way to like make it up, get, pay up to that amount of money. Sometimes the money I'll get that particular time will be like 10,000 or 20,000 above what school will ask me. This is the minimum I can pay to be able to continue. Hey, once I have that small one, I will. I will yeah. hey. So just, just like that until uh, at a point you know i don't even buy load i was only doing free wi exactly yeah. you I don't you buy load. somebody I be don't calling do. this boy his I number don't, never goes through. i don't do anything so once i'm out of the internet i don't care anymore mm. yet i just leave my phone like that until i get to where there is wi-fi i connect again see so that has been but nobody has ever known because sometimes if I, i'll have money now like one thousand or so now somebody will be like, Fina buy for us, okay now. You get and he will buy yeah, and he then, actually did. and then I'll do that in I will just buy the food, then we eat and then I go. So that person will not automatically be like, Oh Fina, this guy really have money. But I don't have anything. You get I don't have anything. Even my friend one time brush. You see? Mm -hmm. Brush one day there was an exam we wrote after writing the exam. I did well in that exam. So on that process brush was uh, appreciating me. So I you did well today, you did well, you know. And I was like Anyway, it's just God. He said, Ferdinand, if I have the kind of... Because it's only brush that understand that I don't have money. Mm -hmm. I don't brush and the These are the two persons that really know that I don't have money. I, mean. I don't know if you know. I still <laughs> I know that you know. don't have money. So, so, <laughs> so now, brush was telling me, Ferdinand, truly, if I, have, uh, if, if I have the kind of financial issues you have, I may, I will even get depressed and I will be able to get even 50% of the exam. Because passing, passing grade in, in medical school is nice. Is 70, 70 or nothing. Or nothing you get? Yeah. So the approach was telling me that I said, my brother, I don't just know, it's just God. You get? And by the way, I'm already used to it. So I know it's definitely going to happen. So why would I be bothered about, uh, about stuff like that? So that's how it is. But until now, these are better like. This are really yeah, in money. Yes. So not, not, no, 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 not, not like I'm in money. I'm not, not in money, not like money that, but at but least it's better than comparing mm -hmm. to what happened when I came new, man. It was really, it was really a hell that time. Like I was, I thought of going back home. You get? I thought of going back home. My father now told me when I called my dad, I was like, I want to come back. My father was like, What will you be coming to do in Nigeria? Even if you don't have anything, why not remain there? So that a little encouragement made me to be okay. Let me just keep keep doing it. Keep doing yeah. it today. But the good thing about Southwestern, I don't know about other schools, but very they are really foreigner friendly because once yeah. you don't have, sometimes they will ask you, okay, pay uh, like only twenty five percent, fifty percent of what you are owing, and then you start another class. You st you are still owing. Uh, that's literally what I've been doing since that time, since that time until. Uh, no. Until now, so. And you're in final year. And I'm in final now. And I'm, I'm, I'm. No, well, no, you're even done because you're already at the end. You're at the finish line already. Yeah, just a few months to. To round up. Round up. So. I'm super like, proud of you, Fed. Like really. Even even there was a time. There was a time people were like talking about me. You know, they said. Some, some people were saying that Fena say you don't have much. Some say don't listen to that boy. <laughs> don't have he stopped going to school. Every yeah. time Fena don't have money, but at the end of the day he will enroll. Mm. So me, I was like, ah. So must I not enroll for me to prove that I don't have money I don't or have something? Money, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I said, okay, anybody to just understand me the way the person want to understand me. But me and my friends like you know how it is. Know how it is. And you see. I know there are a lot of people like Nigerians here who count Elizabeth as the first, M Meso, uh, Daniel, Jane, you and Brush. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So Brush was, was of help. Not really, but like in terms of encouragement because he's an elderly person. Uh, mm -hmm. So he did that, that encouraging, encouraging, keep on, keep on, you know. Uh, 
So, but in terms of finance, I is not included. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Why is your eyes red? Do you want to cry? No, 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 no. I forgot it. Okay. Maybe, I don't know. My eyes are not. <laughs> You're for me, hard guy. No, no, uh -uh. Um, like when I remember when I remember those things, these five past five years, I think I'm I'm even happy. Trust you're happy I mean, that you're yeah, at the like, finish line. I, I think it's paying yeah. off. Mm. At least like now when I come I when I call home now I'll be like, Okay, I'm just trying to like finish up my visa, trying to do this and my father will be like, Really? Like you are really done? And I'll be like, Yes, I am. Yeah. Just my visa is holding me out. Once I once I get it clarified I will go. So that's just it. Just I'm so proud of you. So what advice will you give to people that are struggling to make school financially? You know. The, the only advice, the only advice you need, I need, I will give to them is just number one, determine that you will do this. Pray very, very well. I may not say that I prayed a lot, but I know that God hears my prayer because my mother is a prayer warrior. So pray that God will show you the way. And be good to people around you. Give, even if you don't have. Give, no matter how small. People will understand that, oh, if this guy had more, he would have given. Mm -hmm. yeah. So give to people, help people as much as you can. Don't help people to, like, don't, like, leave your own problem because you want to help another person. But if there is a possibility for you to help, like, for example, Daniel, there was a time I don't have, I was lacking five k to, to add to my money to enroll. Daniel don't have money because he's not going to enroll. What he did, he ha he now stand helping me to raise my own because my yeah. own is reachable. Why his own is not reachable? Yeah. So these are the kind of things that once you remember, once you remember this person, you say, oh, this person has, has once did this to me. So just help as much as you can. Not everybody you help will remember it. Not everybody sure. you help. So, but one person like this, one person. You may not you may, you may be the, the least person you help will just bless you, just bless your life like that. So that that's just it. So basically for me, the things that scared me, made me scared through is friends. Friends. Both you had the right set. I have a very good friends. In fact, God has been including even my landlords, my the landlords and landlords. Ah, you are king yeah. of keeping landlord and land landladies, and all of them, even Last time, last time when I don't have money to enroll, my landlady asked me to spend five months. No payment. Okay, Ahmed, if you remember Ahmed. Yeah, I remember Ahmed. Ahmed, what did I do to Ahmed? The only show that I teach him is cell biology. That's the only thing I teach Ahmed. And, what, and Ahmed gave me a commission of 11 months. Free. See, not just free, oh, free accommodation, wi free Wi-Fi, free light, free water. Free food, you get because I joined him to casino that time. So we go to casino, we eat in the afternoon, eat in the night. In fact, basically throughout that time, it was him, everything. What the only thing I do to him is wake him up, guy, let's go to class, guy, let's do this. Don't ginger him academically, that's all. So these are the things. Wow. But there are some people who, you know, if you try to like, okay, guy, can you just help me? I need. Put me they, they, will, they will say that they are busy or they will just give you I'm some, figuring yeah, my own out. Some, some excuse. But me, like what I know, I like to share. That is one thing that may so like me about. I like to share because I'm not just helping the person I'm sharing with. Mm -hmm. I'm helping myself. Look, what I teach you now, I will never forget it. I will never forget it. So that's just, that just me. Mm -hmm. So these are the things. Okay, no problem. At least you've given our viewers some sort of encouragement. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I'm actually <laughs> starstruck. I don't know what to say again at this point, guys. I'm just like, wow. I mean, Ferdinand, we've come a long way. Like, a yeah. long way. I remember how we met. It was just a random meeting, like, you know. Why not? I know that Jane don't have food. I bought food for you. <laughs> yeah, he's my, my bro. Ah, God. Even I'm still broke, but then, eh, God, Fernand was really there for me. You know, we all had that moment where you don't have anybody at some point. Fernand was really there for me. Like, even when I'm sick, he would always, you know, come through and all that. Thank you so much for all the time. Like, I mean, 
You're my guy, my guy, my main guy. Yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are inspired by this story, please thumbs up this video. Make sure to comment. Make sure to, you know, share this video as well. And I'll see you guys in my next one. If you want to find Ferdinand, you find him on Instagram. I'm going to leave it in the description. And see, guys, even with this particular video, he still needs support. It's not like everything is still all rosy so if you find a way to support him if you feel like you're led to support him reach out to him on instagram and yeah with that being said bye guys you don't want people to support you <laughs> yeah bye uh, wow, wow. i am saying say bye now bye guys bye we'll see you